I'm Ted Johnson in Madagascar, Communications Director for Trufi Association. Trufi Association is an international NGO that digitizes public transport, especially informal transport, to make it accessible to people through mobile phones they already use. And we give planning officials the information they need for better cities. We work mainly with transport networks in the Global South, Latin America, Africa, and East Asia. We are a global team of public transport experts and advocates, developers, community managers, and more. We develop digital apps, smartphone apps, web apps, chatbots, and more for all stakeholders, from the transport user with a simple phone to the policymaker who needs actionable data. The best public transport app is nothing without good local data. We work with local OpenStreetMap communities to collect the data and to develop requirements so that our apps are successful in the cities and countries where we work. Informal transport means there are many independent operators with little or no regulation. It also means that no single organization has an interest in mapping the route and schedules of all operators. The local communities contribute their local knowledge to develop a complete digitized map of the transport network. If an official transit agency has accurate published routes and schedules, we can also use our app for formal transport. And we can mix modes so people can combine, for example, bike, bus, and trains on their journey. Our apps are running right now in Cochabamba, Bolivia, Accra, Ghana, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and Duitama, Colombia. They have local names such as Trufi, Trotro, Yeneguzo, and Busboy. Our code is open source, so we can easily make apps named, for example, Dala Dala for Tanzania, Matatu for Kenya, or Jeepney for the Philippines. Every app is customized for the city or region. We develop Android and iOS apps simultaneously using the Flutter software development kit. Our first app, developed for Cochabamba, Bolivia, was also the first open source journey planner available worldwide on the Apple Store. Because we publish our data as open data, it's not just for our apps or for transport planners. Universities can use the data for academic purposes in multiple disciplines. Entrepreneurs can use it to develop new services for the transport sector. We've recently attracted the attention of cities in Europe who asked us to develop multimodal journey planner apps Herrenberg and Hamburg, Germany. These opportunities have allowed us to future-proof our apps by creating capabilities now that forward-thinking cities in developing countries will need soon, such as bike sharing availability, ride sharing, or electric car charging stations. Some developing world cities have these services already. Here's a short video outlining how we mapped the public transport network in Mauritania. Nouakchott, Mauritania is one of the largest cities in the Sahara Desert. Public transport network is entirely informal. No published schedules, no official stops, no central management by a transportation authority. Mauritania is beautiful and diverse, but it is also poor. Even though car ownership is low in Nouakchott, congestion and pollution are problems that are getting worse as the city grows more effective public transportation would be transformative. Nouakchott is just the kind of place where Trufi's strengths can make a difference. Until 2021, there were no accurate maps for public transport. Now there is one, and Trufi made that map. Trufi is an international NGO that digitizes public transport in emerging cities where informal transport is king. We make public transport more attractive and accessible with our apps. And we help municipal authorities by giving them the data they need to provide better planning and services for the people in their cities. The World Bank hired Trufi for our unique capacity to map public transport where mapping is difficult to do. Our approach is to work directly with OpenStreetMap communities in person and to train people on site to map routes. But because of the COVID-19 pandemic, we couldn't send a team to Nouakchott, so we had to do the work remotely. There are OpenStreetMap communities nearly everywhere, 
including in Mauritania. We found the best qualified group on Facebook. A group of six Mauritanians was recruited from this group. We trained them remotely, and they were already OpenStreetMap users and contributors. What our team didn't know already, they knew where to ask. The heart and brain of Nouakchott's public transport network is at an intersection in the city center known as Carrefour BMD. Every route that our local team had to trace, document, and photograph is in the heads of the drivers and loaders and merchants at this intersection. To collect the GPS data of the routes, the team members had to ride every route with a mapping app running on their phones. They also interviewed drivers and collected detailed notes on every route. For six days, the Mauritanians woke before sunrise and worked 11 hours in the hot Mauritanian summer. At the end of each day, they would submit their data to OpenStreetMap and provide other route details to Trufi, such as bus stops and the common names of the routes. The routes began pouring in. Our international Trufi team in Bolivia, Colombia, Ethiopia, Germany, and Morocco had developed and tested tools and protocols to collect, validate, and clean up the raw mapping data coming from the crew on the ground. Then the international team made sure the GPS traces corresponded to roads, and they would correct any inaccuracies, such as a GPS trace that wandered through a building. The final phase for the mapping team was to capture street-level photography. To save time, they rented a car and drove all of the primary routes they had previously ridden as passengers. With a smartphone mounted on the dashboard, they captured GPS-tagged photos every few seconds using the Mapillary app. When these photos are uploaded to Mapillary servers, artificial intelligence analyzes the images to detect and plot objects such as lane markings, mailboxes, trash cans, traffic lights, and manholes, as well as restaurants, stores, and other points of interest. At the conclusion of the work, we had some measurable results. The team had traced 59 bus and taxi routes, traveled hundreds of kilometers, and captured more than 24,000 street-level photographs. Trufi successfully delivered the first accurate digital map of Nouakchott's public transport network in collaboration with the OpenStreetMap community. Who can use this mapping data? It's open data. That means anyone can use it. City planners can use it to identify where to make infrastructure improvements and improve traffic control. Universities can access it to contribute to impactful research in multiple disciplines. Bus companies can use it to make strategic decisions to improve and expand their services. Entrepreneurs can connect to this data to develop apps and technology services for cashless payment, for journey planning, for booking, for ride sharing, and more. None of this potential would be possible without an accurate map and without data made available to anyone. We have not yet seen the full impact and innovation that will flow from Trufi's work in Nouakchott. We are always ready to map the next city, your city, and to build innovative solutions for public transport. Join and support Trufi's work. Thanks for your attention. We can take your questions now.